So today we're going to show you how to use the Nanoleaf app with your Nanoleaf Smarter Kits. So when you open the app, you'll be brought to this screen. You can click Get Started. So you'll get this uh, information screen that tells you a little bit about HomeKit. Uh, once you've read it, you can hit Get Started. Um, normally an alert will come up asking you to grant access to HomeKit. So you'll need to accept that in order to uh, work with the app. So now you can create your first home. So hit the uh, plus button here in the top right. Call your home what you like. We'll call it Nanoleaf. So the next step is to pair your hub. So uh, if your hub's not detected on the network, you'll get this empty state that shows you how to connect everything up. And then once your hub is plugged in, you'll uh, get the hub showing up in a few minutes. just a few moments. So there we have our hub. So we'll tap on the hub. If you see multiple things here, you can click on the gear icon. You can always identify your hub, which will cause the lights to flash. So tap on the hub. You'll be brought up to the pairing screen, which you can take the bottom of your hub and read this number. Doesn't matter which orientation it's in, it should scan properly. So now that it's added, you're ready to add your hub to a room. So you'll create your first room. We'll call this um, office. So now you can click into the office room and uh, you'll notice that there's no lights here yet. So uh, you can go to manage and manage accessories. You'll see the hub that you can assign to the room if you need, uh, not necessary if you don't want to. But right now we don't have any lights paired so you got it uh, screen here showing how to pair your lights. So we'll press the button on the hub and turn on the lights. After a few seconds, you'll see the lights pulse and then uh, they'll flash, showing that they're connected to the hub. And we'll show you a little bit of a thing for that. So as the lights connect, you'll see them pop in here. So you can add them by tapping on them. If you tap the icon, you'll uh, identify the lights so you know which ones you're actually looking at. Uh, and once you're happy with what your configuration is, you can hit done and then uh, you can control your lights. Go to the scenes on the bottom left. These are four preset scenes from Apple, none of which have anything by default. So if you want to add something to Good Morning, you click the gear icon and then you press manage and you can add these to your scene. Good Morning, maybe we want to turn our lights on with a low brightness. And so now when I tap on Good Morning, um, the lights will change brightness. If you want to manage your home, you can go to the settings you tab, can add users by pressing the manage users button, invite people through HomeKit using their iCloud ID. If you want to manage accessories, um, you can go to the manage accessories. Again, you can rename a hub, you can identify it if you want to know which one you're looking at. You can delete it if you want, which will delete it from HomeKit. Same goes for the bulbs, you can rename them. This is actually very important for Siri, uh, so I'll call this uh, Desk Light 1. So yes, you uh, here you see the Manage Accessories screen. Uh, you can see your smart light bulbs here. The subtitle is the uh, service name, which is actually used by Siri to control the lights. So off desk light one. There we go. So that's how you can need to control your lights individually. You can also control your lights using the room name. Siri, turn off my office lights. So that'll turn both of the lights off. You can also use Siri to set scenes. 
Siri, set good morning. If you want to update your hub, you can tap in on the firmware updates in the settings button. Right now our hub is up to date, so it shows up to date, but when a, when a firmware update is ready, this little icon will change to updates, and you can tap it to update your hub. So that's how you use the Nanoleaf app.